Hello, everyone. Uh, we hope you are doing well and are staying safe. We'd like to welcome you to today's webinar. Moshe Ben Talila, who will be conducting the session, has been the manager of Vizimix's customer support for over 12 years. He has both a BSc and an MSc in chemical engineering in the field of reactors design. He was involved for more than 15 years in technological transfer as a pilot plant manager and as a project manager in an API company. In conjunction with this, he has submitted his PhD thesis about the application of practical methods for scale-up process in a specific field in the chemi chemical process industry to show its validity to the chemical industry as a whole. He was part of a team that wrote a syllabus for a BSc degree program in pharmaceutical engineering, contributing the relevant studies for the, tech, the chemical engineering profession. He is also a lecturer in reactor design and principal of fluid mechanics for the BSc degree program at the Azrieli College of Engineering in Jerusalem. In this session, we will present our new application, Bubble Mixing in Columns. During the webinar, please feel free to write any questions in the chat box. We will try to answer them during the session or afterwards via email. Enjoy today's session. And Moshe, the microphone is yours. Okay, thank you very much for attending to all of you. And I hope you are uh, feeling well and uh, the situation of the coronavirus will uh, start to uh, uh, pass and we are uh, uh, feeling better. Uh, today we have a very good uh, uh, opportunity to release a, a new application of the uh, mixing in the industry. We talk about bubble columns and mixing into bubble columns. That uh, uh, is a unit operation that is uh, uh, used frequently in the industry and lastly main, mainly, mainly in the uh, fermentation and biotechnology uh, application. So this is what we'll talk about today, simulation of tanks and columns with mixing bubble. And the main idea is uh, columns that are existing in, in many industries, in the chemical industry, is used to, uh, uh, through some sparger, pass gas through the media. And of course, this kind of operation can be uh, interesting uh, because it's a unique, and different way to work normally with Vizimix equipment, we don't have insight in uh, the uh, uh, typical agitator that we normally uh, feed inside in different zones. Here, the bubbles are doing the job. Um, uh, so some words and some introduction about the company, about the new product, and of course, as usual, in our uh, practice, we are open for you. The software show to you how to feed data, generate results, and give you some overview about the gas liquid operation, a base in an example that was developed for heat transfer. And uh, the reason that we are doing it for heat transfer is because it is a basic source of the implementation and knowledge of the models into the uh, into this kind of equipment. So Vizimix is a unique software, as you know, for people that are not uh, familiar with Vizimix, some words about Vizimix. is a unique software and having every chemical engineer, process engineer, chemist, physic, uh, chemist uh, process, uh, to uh, understand the influence of the mixing in the process, uh, it's not required to uh, know uh, uh, programming or write some line in a code. The code is ready to use. You need to feed the minimum required data to know that uh, uh, that is required to know what is the uh, mixing parameters and which of them will be influence your process. Um, uh, and the software is used in many companies to save time uh, by using the, the trial and error, it uh, uh, runs to a minimum one uh, because it's focusing yourself in a really specific uh, question that is right when you have the answers coming from the software. The software was developed in uh, uh, 
Russia with Professor Leonid Draginsky and his team, and they, they developed different kinds of methods for mixing. Uh, after that, when they came to Israel, we transferred it in a, a software, and uh, we are implementing softwares and news uh, from time to time uh, based on new uh, experiments, new models that were developed in our laboratories. So this is mixed based in uh, physical models, support by empirical data. We sort the momentum balance to know the velocity of the flow. From this, and in combination, of course, with uh, many other models that mixing on the expander theory, Kolmogorov theory, we know what is the velocity of the flow. And it is the base to calculate energy of dissipation, circulation flow, mixing time, and in this case, will be some uh, heat transfer coefficients, some heat transfer phenomena that can help us to give a very good uh, uh, approximation result about the gas liquid operation. Companies working with us in different fields, in different zones, some companies that were working with us uh, that show what is the use in many industries in all the world when you have a steel vessel, it's possible to use the software to calculate and improve process design, transfer technologies to, from site to site, from a, a lab to production. We have users in all over the world that are working with the software. Uh, and uh, uh, like Dr. Victor Atiemo Bank, that is working with the software and uh, show us how they are uh, working well. Sorry for that, the five minutes, we have some problem with the broadcasting. So the presentation you will get and you will follow the slide, we are in slide number six, relevant number six. We have all other uh, uh, slides here, okay? I understand the question you have. Okay, let's progress because and mention all that is here and you will get the presentation anyway. Sorry for that. So, VZMix is uh, uh, is uh, uh, we have a website in VZMix that you can visit. And in this, visit, in this website, you can see many examples, user guides the mathematical models, some uh, verification examples that, uh, of course, will give you more information about different tools we have, different, product, different products we have in the company. And, of course, some testimonials from companies that show how, in different fields, they are uh, using the uh, knowledge that came from the software in order to avo uh, avoid problems and save to the company. The software can use E with very small equipment onto to big equipment. So if you are doing uh, experiments in the lab and you are taking in consideration mixing parameters, you will be able after that to uh, uh, tra transfer this knowledge to the sign and the production and taking in advance this knowledge in order to avoid problem saving time and of course justify the use by some uh, uh, analysis of the resource based in the small uh, uh, size. We advise always to have some methodology to try to uh, cover as maximum as possible and minimum of time the uh, uh, phenomena that is mixing and the influence in the process. This can we discuss many times, only a brief idea about it is how to establish the uh, experiments and the way to think to cover the mixing influence and potential influence in the process uh, in this methodology is by understanding the process well in the lab, uh, calculate in the production, calculate with the software what will happen in the production step with some typical equipment, and try to set up the process according to production step in the uh, lab equipment. So uh, when you are taking in consideration what you really will able to provide to the process, and you are setting up it in the lab, you will be able, of course, to maybe at the first time generate a result that will be relevant for your next step. If there you have problems, you will be able to solve. If not, you will feel relaxed that you will be able to progress 
in a good way. When you have the software, always you have a basic training, a, a, a personal support, the meaning of this, you are coming with the customer support working step by step in, the, in your project. And it is the way that you, you will be able to gain more information about this sophisticated unit operation. And uh, uh, we are able to see that the feeding data and the analysis of the results are uh, uh, relevant to your process. And of course, generate some justification, some benefits for the company. If it is required now, it's a little difficult to do it, but we hope we are progressing and the, the coronavirus will uh, uh, disappear as fast as possible. We will be able to visit you and to provide more and the life information and a, a, a training or seminar in your site. And of course, every question you have, you can ask. As you can see, we have a very long history of release products that are helping the industry uh, step by step. So if we talk about turbulent at the beginning of the way, laminar, that has mainly on the regime. After that, we talk about equipment that is uh, 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 designed in different way, some different kind of equipment, rotor stator and emulsification. After that, some visualization to facilitate the, uh, the, uh, the interpretation of the results and a new or a, a models that are common in the industry. We implement even some customized uh, by alternative impeller. Uh, off center, it was the, the new one, the last one that uh, has arranging on the equipment in different way. And now we are happy to extend this use to a uh, bubble coil. And this new release is uh, more an extension of the use of the software because really we will use the model that we know well. So you will not, you will be able to see that models that are inside this mix are able to use to, uh, to be used for different operations. For instance, when we have this column that is not impeller and you fit the elemental data about the geometry, that is the column high, the column diameter, the high diameter, and of course the level of the media, and what is the gas flow that providing from this budget, we will be able to tell you immediately, okay, to tell you immediately by using the models of this mix how to set up the data into the busy mix that actually maybe you have in order to calculate the heat transfer in the bubble columns and a uh, main uh, gas liquid uh, parameters that become critical in the biotechnology industry. Uh, and the, the, the main point here is that the flow that you are generating in these bubbles is a, a compatible with the busy mix models and by setting a pitch pedal a multi stage according to the output we will calculate for you you will be able to understand well what happened in your equipment and again once you have it do it small equipment big equipment all that you know and you are able to do with the software you will be able to do uh, uh, based in this activity so bubble columns is a white uh, a, 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 a equipment using the chemical and biotechnology industry uh, for hydrogenation, alkylation, polymerization. Uh, uh, in the bio industry, of course, fermentation that is a mainly part of the starting point of our biotechnology industry generates some RNA or some uh, in, in, uh, proteins. Okay. And the, the, the advantage of the bubble column is that you are not operating with some mechanical uh, equipment inside. Uh, the heat and, and heat and transfer is good, uh, good enough uh, in large scale. And uh, the, corrosive, uh, the corrosion is going down because the lower part of the mechanical uh, uh, additions in the tank, uh, in the equipment, used in this kind of uh, pro, uh, uh, pro, uh, equipment. In the heat transfer, the bubble columns, we uh, experimentate and we know that we're talking about that liquid in the chemical industry, those, can, those uh, reactions can be exothermic. And if you are implementing your jacket that you have in the steel vessel, 
because the intensity of the mixing inside the tank by the bubbles, you will be able to generate the good mass transfer coefficient. We'll discuss about it in our example. And uh, the, uh, the, this kind of, uh, of uh, uh, calculations, so the energy dissipation around the, the wall is the basic uh, starting point of these kinds of models that were proved in the literature that uh, it is the main parameter that are controlling the process in bubble columns. So, simple to do. We'll show to you now. We'll open the software to show to you, but in two uh, slides only, see that you will have only a window with the main point that you need to feed is only here. You will get the instruction how to use the software, okay? And what will be the circulation flow and the velocity near to the, to the wall, that it is the base of the starting point in the use of the uh, gas liquid model in a, a, our a, a software. Of course, after that, by feeding the, the VZMIX data into the VZMIX software, as you know normally, but we, I will do from the beginning to the end, for those people that are not familiar with VZMIX, you will be able to calculate heat transfer and give a very good uh, result and approximation about any other liquid gas system parameter in our time. Okay, so let's go to do it. And so the first to do is to open the application. The application is here, okay, or here. Let's do it here. And you see, software is open, simple to do. In our case, I will use a column that is 15. That is, is uh, 15 meter. The diameter of my, ta my tank is 2.8 meters, so it is a big one. The liquid dip is a 12 meter, and the gas flow that we are applying is 0 0.3 cube per second. Once I click calculate, you see it's provided to me immediately. What is the parameters I need to fit to VC mix in order to generate the gas liquid heat transfer parameters that are controlling the process? And of course, once I fit into the software, I will be able to calculate with very good uh, uh, approximation what will be the gas liquid uh, 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 main parameter. So now, simple to do. Now, in this window, you really start to get results. If you can see in the bottom, in this part, okay, you can see how the circulation flow rate was calculated and the near wall velocity is calculated for you now. But you don't want to know more. You want to know heat transfer, maybe bubbles drop. All of these parameters, we will do it now. So when we open Turbulent, and normally what we are working project new, uh, and I will give the name will be bubble column. Now we need to uh, use, as you see here, jacket tank with flat bottom. So this is what we'll use now. Jacket tank with flat bottom. Click OK. You need to provide the same. What was the inside diameter? Uh, 2.8 meter. The eye of the tank, it was uh, 15 meter. And the level of the media is 12 meters. So we have equipment about 1,000 uh, uh, liters or one cube, about one cube, and we have 75 cube in our tank. Click OK. Now, the uh, application show me that because we are generating a very good uh, mixing inside, it's like we have uh, four buffers inside. So flat buffer number one, I will use and we'll fit this data inside there. So flat buffer, num buffer number one, we have four buffers. The width of the buffer will be uh, zero, uh, 0 0.28 uh, uh, meter. And the uh, length of the buffer 
If I give a big number, this means will give me the maximum one. The distance from the bottom, in this case, is zero. And uh, the angle normally is zero. This angle is between the buffer tank and the R axis and no to the wall. Once we click OK, we need to select my impeller. The software told me, okay, you need to select pinch pedal multi stage, three stage. So this is what we'll do now. Uh, pinch pedal, multi stage, and three impedance. Now, the diameter that was advised uh, for this uh, is 1.4 meter. The distance between the stages um, is 2.4 meter. The number of blades is uh, uh, three. The angle is 30 degrees. The width of the blade will be um, uh, 0 0.14 meter. The distance from the bottom, it will be uh, 2.4 meter. The RPM that will generate the circulation flow and the velocity that we really calculate now will be uh, um, uh, 111 and this power is not required it's only uh, for our purpose okay and it is mainly um, uh, uh, some data that we need to fit but it is not used in the calculation okay the jacket the uh, the jacket that you need to fit here is a uh, the actual jacket you have in your tank, okay? So don't be, now it is not related to uh, our system, it is inside. Outside my tank is your equipment, okay? So you can fit some data about your equipment. For instance, the bottom uh, there, and we have uh, the distance from the bottom zero, and uh, the uh, high maybe, it will be a very big one, okay? okay. No, let me let me fit more uh, normal data. Distance from the bottom will be uh, zero point five. Zero point five. Sorry. The distance from the bottom twelve is the I twelve, and if you don't know what is the area, you can click zero. And the software will calculate for you this area according to the geometry. Now, we need to fit some material. Let's say that we have uh, in, uh, 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 our media is with this density, viscosity can be Newtonian or non-Newtonian media, and the uh, viscosity is about 3 centipuas. Now, this is my tank. I am really starting to work. It is correlative to this one. Okay, so with the same dimensions. And we need only to start to work. In order to start to work, we can calculate, for instance, what will be the heat transfer coefficient, overall heat transfer coefficient, uh, from the tank to the menu. When we click there, we need more information. Which kind of information we need? My tank. So, Let's say we can, can be uh, the building material of this tank. You can see we have a lot of materials. That let's use asteroid C, asteroid B, and the uh, uh, the wall thickness is six millimeter. And if I don't know the thermal resistance, we can click zero, or we can go to L and get some uh, numbers. Of course, this number you can find in every place, and you can click zero on the tank. Mask will calculate for you, okay? Click OK. Now we need the width of the jacket, okay? Because we're in conventional jacket, is 30 millimeter, and we need the thickness 
of the wall, that it will be Arba millimeter. Now, we have diff different kinds of uh, enhancing devices like agitation nozzles of sterile buffers that for this big equipment, it can there, it can be there because you want to increase your capabilities to extend material from the jacket. Um, uh, and, and we will see in a few seconds, maybe it will be very interesting. So you can implement them, you see it's open for you, or this, or this one. And it's uh, convenient to have in this big equipment. The, uh, the process that we have uh, calculating now will be uh, not depending uh, on the uh, rate of the reaction. So we assume that we don't have uh, the knowledge about the reaction. So all the phenomena of heat is coming from the heat transfer. And let's say we can click uh, some uh, limit uh, temperatures, let's say from 10 to 60, in order to give some range of work to my software. And after that, let's say we are using water in order to cool our system. Okay, if uh, you come to uh, if you if you come to uh, to the jacket, you you can fit there inside the jacket uh, some uh, uh, material for cooling. Let's say my is from the from tower uh, uh, cooling uh, uh, facility, and it provides me twenty cube meter per hour. Okay, let's continue. Now I wanted to know the overall heat transfer coefficient in a fixed temperature regime. The meaning of this, I want to maintain fixed the temperature inside my tank, so I need to know. What is the temperature I want to keep fixed? Let's say 37, that it is very common in the fermentations in the, and biotechnology industry. When you click OK, of course, you have inside some material. Let's say that is water, because it is very common in the industry with this viscosity and this heat transfer and this uh, uh, heat that it is for water. You can feed this data at the temperature you know. And of course, you can find uh, more in the literature. In any time when you need some help, some more numbers, you can come to here on the help, and you can see here some some table that provide to you indications about heat transfer. Of course, its conductivity. Of course, you will find more in Google or in other database because it is the meaning of this database. Here is only giving you some help to quite understand what is the meaning of it. So when you click OK, immediately we know that the overall heat transfer coefficient is 186. Good, this is overall heat transfer coefficient. If you remember well, what is overall heat transfer coefficient is the fall. If you have your tank, okay, and if you have your jacket, Okay, I am okay here. And you have some building material here of your tank, of your wall. The overall heat transfer material, uh, overall heat transfer coefficient is taking in consideration what happened here, what happened here, and what happened here. So you have a heat uh, transferring from 37 to 20, because here we are 20, 20 degree. So we are going in this way. So which of these media will be the uh, bottleneck? So if I increase the capability of heat transfer here or here, we will increase our uh, uh, our capability to start the energy from the uh, tank or from the column. This we will uh, do it now, okay? Uh, we will uh, calculate, for instance, what will be now, in the last menu, you can go and you see what is the outside film coefficient. So this is what happened in my jacket. And I can calculate what is the inside film coefficient. This is what happened inside my tank. As you can see immediately that the main bottleneck is the smaller one, this one. So if I am able to increase this one, we'll be able to get the generate better results. So how we can increase this one? For instance, I go to edit input 
and I in the heat transfer, I can looking for, for instance, of course, if I increase my velocity to, let's say, 40, now you will see that now is better, okay? If I uh, change my uh, in, uh, uh, my uh, tank, my jacket, okay? You remember? Now I will I will buy spiral uh, uh, nozzles, okay? Of three millimeters, let's say ten, okay? When we click OK. Now we'll see what happened inside, nothing, but outside, wow, okay. So a good design will increase dramatically our capabilities. We will require less energy in our facilities, uh, support equipment. And this point is important because it is a capability to use. In a very simple way, you're doing everything. So if we clone, and we're doing exactly the same, project with different name. And in this uh, uh, equipment, I compare my design with the original design, what was with absence of uh, enhances. Now, by calculating over uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, outside film coefficient, we can compare between them and to see how is different. Good, it is the first part, but we have more news. Is that, let's calculate, for instance, the gas hold uh, uh, up, okay? Or uh, the mass transfer rate. So let's go, or the diameter of the bubble, okay? Let's go with this one. Uh, of course, we are taking consideration that you have uh, an impeller that in, in the model of easy mix, so no means, you can change, did a small change and go to 1.4. It's not changing nothing inside, and you will be able to calculate the drop. Sorry, I did a mistake in the change. Okay, so uh, yes, and when we calculate, okay, you can calculate the drop size. For this, we need the flow rate. You remember what was? We have calculated here, okay? You, you have, you feel it, it is 0 0.3 you per second, okay? 0 0.3 cube per second. You click there, surface tension is depending on the materials you are using, and you see it is the bubble size. Let's do it in the same, let's click an all time, clone, okay? And uh, in this case, I will increase the, uh, the, 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 the flow to, let's say, 0 0.5. And now we can calculate the same parameter. Okay, it is 507 instead. 161. Continue to calculate more what the, is required. What is the drop? Let's go to a macro. What is the gas hold up? 26%. What is after that the, uh, the gas transfer per hour? If you don't know the molecular diffusivity, it's always possible to give the molecular weight of the solvent. Let's say this oxygen, it's 37 degrees. And when you click OK, the solubility, let's say, of your, your gas is one kilo per cubic and you measure that like the oxygen dissolved of the O, and let's say that it is 0 0.2, OK? And you maintain it all the way. So when you have it, you know what is the quantity of gas that you are transferring per hour from the liquid to the medium. Of course, after you calculate all of this, you can generate the report. And in the report, we talk about gas heat transfer at fixed temperature. Okay, we generate some report with a case one. 
So when I come to the original one, okay, I want to uh, uh, generate sorry, generate the report to case two. Okay, it is I am doing now. Sorry. Uh, report hit fixed for case two. It will be case two. Two cases we have. And now no problem. Uh, let's come to Excel. And in the Excel, we are able to retrieve. Okay, let's open. Retrieve the data from the report one. This you see here all the data. But let's take the data that is important for me the volume, the diameter, and the total line, and uh, the uh, inside field coefficient, that, sorry, the outside field coefficient that was my situation. In this case, it was 98. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's here. See all the data. And if I implement in the next line and ask for C number two, it brings in the data from the other uh, from the other equipment. Okay, you see, it is with uh, with uh, uh, not. Okay, once you are doing it, you can uh, of course add this project in the project list with your number of the of the. Uh, uh, Reactor and have some problems with my computer, but it's possible to generate the, uh, the uh, project list that is coming here now. Okay, it will be implemented here, my line. Okay, okay so these are the I wanted to show to you uh, about the use. So, some review about it by feeding here data. Okay, let's say I'm changing to 0 0.6. I calculate, I receive all the input data to VCMix. I receive some uh, a good uh, estimated flow characteristics. I enter this data in VCMix software like I'm doing normally in the tank, in the impeller, and in the, in the buffer feeding some specific data about the shell and the tank, okay, the tank shell, you remember, and the uh, characteristics uh, of the uh, jacket, general and specific one. Here you remember we change with those nozzles and uh, uh, calculate the heat transfer. That can be, of course, batch, uh, semi-batch, the many of it say batch and semi-batch is of the liquid media, of course, the gas is uh, normally running there. And fix uh, temperature when I want to fix my temperature in the tank. And by adding the cooling system, we're able to calculate the temperature in the wall, the overall heat transfer coefficient, the heat area, and the heat release. And when it is flowing, it is batch or semi batch um, uh, system. So the temperature inside can change uh, because I not asked to be fixed. We can calculate the temperature as a function of the time. Okay, uh, when the temperature, let's say, was 80 degrees uh, and the, the simulation time is for 10 hours, okay, when you do it, you see how with your tank and the mixing you are generating, you can go down in the temperature. And this is, of course, when I don't ask to keep fix the uh, temperature inside my tank. And uh, if you have any question, we're happy to, to hear from you. Uh, uh, we are very proud that we succeeded to generate under the conditions of the world this new release. We hope you will have another two releases this year in a few months about very interesting uh, um, application uh, that will give you a capability to generate scale up data and results by clicking one button according to your requirements based in the unit operation. And we'll finalize these uh, activities with an extension of this uh, uh, 
um, uh, application for uh, uh, many uh, kinds of comparison. This will happen hopefully soon. So uh, follow us, follow our, uh, uh, follow up our uh, uh, publication and announcement. And of course, we, uh, we are trying to generate more webinars that is coming based on user experience and this kind of release that we hope would be will be very uh, uh, useful for you. If you need uh, some information and you want some specific uh, uh, presentation for your company based on your own data for your team, contact us, we're very happy to provide to you. And of course, we're in the release time with this coronavirus, so we are very flexible in order to provide good conditions to start to work and try to help the industry to come back to the position that was before that in order to uh, take the world uh, 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 coming back and continue to develop it, itself in a good way. So thank you very much to be here. People like you is very, uh, are very important to the industry and to the world. You are, pro, you are pro, pro, a, a main a, a knowledge of the production and, and efficiency. So go ahead, happy to be with you and try to go with you. Only conclusion of the presentation. With BCMix, as you remember, we are able to generate a, a, the understanding of the process, as you see, is very simple to use. Bizimix is based not only in the correlations, it's really a deep study about mixing phenomena into tanks, in this case, without agitator, it's bubbles. And the, all of this knowledge we would like to provide to you because we know this issue, the connection between the equipment and the process, is the main issue and it is the main answer you need to provide to the company at this stage. So thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure to be with you and I hope to see you soon again.